Hi everyone, welcome to Java Express Academy. Today I'm going to discuss a new concept called switch expression. We have a switch case already, you know everyone how to use a switch case to avoid uh, multiple if else conditions. So we can go ahead for the switch expression. Okay, I mean a switch case, but there is a concept called expression. It is a new feature in Java phone. It is a standardized version here. See here by using switch expression, okay, user allows much more concise notation rather than before. Previously, we are using arrow notation, right? So here the code will be more a readable format, guys. Okay, by using okay switch expression, we can provide multiple cases. We can simplify switch statement by using separating. This point is very important. Separating multiple cases with comma. Till now, we can provide each case as only one. But here in single ones, one case, we can provide more than one text also here. By using arrow notation to eliminate error prone break statements. Till now we are using break, right? From 14 onwards, we no need to use the break at all only guys. Okay, it's more easiest, easy topic. And I will show you one example as well. And another advantage is we are able to use switch as a expression and as well as it returns a value and possible to assign the value to any variable whichever value you are returning by using the switch okay i can assign into a variable also okay so it's kind of a lambda mean to say i can assign complete switch case to a, a variable here okay uh, let me demonstrate you with, with an example so that it will be easy for you to understand guys okay as java 13 no features so for your demonstration purpose what i am doing okay 15 okay java 13 okay no features just for your understanding just i'm keeping for your understanding here guys okay no features okay all are preview features only okay now let me go ahead and create a another project okay uh let me choose 16 switch expression okay it is introduced in which version java 14 version guys okay no one will ask you hey in which version it is introduced but they will ask you hey what is the use of switch expression okay but for your clarification lot of people there is a question so many features are available only i'm learning java 11 java 17 but lot of people question mark hey what about java 12 13 14 15 in your mind there, there is a question right to okay uh, uh by using these videos you will get a complete picture in uh, on which version what are the features it is introduced here guys okay now let me create a fresh example okay uh, switch demo okay <clears throat> uh, i will demonstrate you two types of examples okay it will be easy for you have a look here okay suppose assume that uh, we have a weekdays right like monday tuesday wednesday thursday okay and let me take some example string day equals to monday okay day equals to monday so what i'm doing i want to write a switch case see here how i am writing if day is okay now here i'm writing cases here the usage of switch comma separated i can provide basically previously how you will provide okay see here let me either it can be a monday or it can make it can be a friday just for our example just i'm right it can be a sunday whenever this particular case is matching okay i want to print some data as a uh, some variable i'm uh, okay i want to print as a six for example just i'm saying okay i want to write another case okay if i write as a uh, tuesday if i'm writing as a tuesday i want to assign to a some variable called seven okay if if my case is uh, Thursday, if it is a Thursday, uh, I want to, I want to assign some variable eight. Okay. Now, if my case is Wednesday, suppose just for our name's sake, I'm writing until nine. See, 
this is not possible by using pre older versions here see by using comma separated i'm assigning if you observe here if one case is matching it will print that number here okay now let me write this uh, let me run this program run as java application see six is printing here here if you observe this is called switch expression it is called switch expression and we have another feature called it returns a value and it is possible to assign that value to any variable that point i'm going to discuss now instead of here if you observe uh, here every time i'm writing system dot out dot print ln print ln but but if you observe here every time some value is matching here either six or seven or eight it is an integer variable instead of okay instead of doing like this what i will do i will assign to a variable how i am doing instead of writing system dot out dot print ln simply write as a six okay now see here I'm writing as a seven and if it is a eight and then it is a nine. Now the complete this switch case, I'm want to attain into a, a result variable. See in result, see here, no issues here. If nothing is matching, if that thing is matching, then it should be a default case. Now default, see default through illegal argument expression here. Make sure semicolon should be required. Now control shift F indentation guys. See, this is one switch case. Hope you guys are clear now. And this result you can print in the console like this. If nothing is matching, some random string I given, then it should throw some value, unexpected value, illegal argument exception here. See, unexpected value here. That's it. This is the very simplified approach switch case statement. Guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Okay, we'll do more and more videos, guys. Thank you.